You see, Robert hasn't written me in three weeks. It's not like him. He went up to Lord Davenport's castle in the mountains north of here four months ago, looking for work, and sent me a letter saying he'd signed on as a servant. Yeah, the pay wasn't much, but he's managed to send small amounts home each week. Now he's gone silent, and the money has stopped. I'm worried that something's happened to him. There, there. I'm sure he's just busy at the castle. And when he finds the time, he'll catch up on his letters. <sighs> I hope you're right. I'd give anything to know he's safe. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation, but couldn't you go up to this lord's castle and ask about your son? Oh, were it that easy. Lord Davenport values his privacy, and strangers making inquiries are often shown the error of their ways. The lord hires fallen builders, and they tend to be quick with their hammers. He calls himself the Black Mage, keeper of some ancient relic that gives him strange powers. The Black Mage, eh? Perhaps someone could make inquiries without using the front gate. Perhaps, but where would we find such a person? He'd have to climb the castle's outer wall, and then move around the grounds unseen. <laughs> I am... Um have a small amount of experience in such matters. You? We don't know you at all. Why would you do this? Well, I'm visiting Eastdale for some relaxation, and I can't think of anything more relaxing than wandering through a man's castle in the middle of the night. Oh yeah, I can't pay you much, but I'll give you the wages my son's been sending me. If I can find enough gold lying around the castle while I'm looking for your son, I'll share it with you. You can keep your son's wages. I don't know about this. It does sound risky, but I need to know that Robert is safe. I accept your offer. Hello, and welcome back to the Dark Maw. I thought I was done. I thought there wouldn't be more for at least a little while, and then they pull me back in. Not that I'm complaining, of course. Um, yeah, the Black Mage. Um, I'm sure that's this is going to be easy, but if you can get paid for doing a good deed, Sounds like a good business model to me. Anyways, what do we have? We got normal, hard, and expert. What's the difference? Loot and the amount of. Uh, we'll go hard just because I'm a little babby and we all know this, so why are we dwelling on it? Find a way inside Lord Davenport's castle. Find and free Robert. Don't mind if I do. Acquire 1,200 in loot. Don't mind if I do-do. And don't kill any humans. Didn't plan on do-do doing that. That bid didn't land as well as I thought it would. So, to cover up for how awkward this is right now, we're just gonna start the mission. Apologies, my lord, but shouldn't we take this opportunity to discuss the financial dealings? What do you wish to talk about? Well, since I brought you these strange inventor machines, no further transactions have been processed. Please understand that a financial advisor of my caliber can only work on continuous business. Of course, I can understand that. But first a question. In your opinion, what is it that characterized the great men of the past? Faith? Business acumen? Or his own determination paired with his knowledge? Well, um, strong belief, of course along with good business acumen. Archbishop Wolfgang von Eastdale had both a strong faith 
and an even stronger business acumen. But in the end, none of it did him any good. What happened? In his foolish belief, he thought that the gold treasure stolen from the pagans would give him magical powers. He had them melted down in the builder's forge. Then he had a thick golden armor made out of it and announced that he would use it to hike over the water. Because this was the will of the builder. I understand. I can already imagine how it turned out. He jumped into a lake with all his armor and was never seen again. <laughs> well, it didn't even come to that. As he and his entourage set out for Williston Lake in full armor, a thunderstorm suddenly broke out. And before he and his entourage could get to safety, an incredibly mighty bright bolt of lightning struck his armor. He fell to the ground and stopped moving. Smoke rose from his helmet, and it smelled of fried chicken. How awful. Indeed. It wasn't until days later that his followers were able to break him free from the half-melted armor, and one could see that his body was well done. The peasants at the scene later described that they had never smelled anything so delicious. Then they lost their temper and devoured the roasted holy man's skin and hair. That's foul. I must say, I find this story rather repulsive. Indeed it is, my friend. But it does illuminate a fact I'd like to point out. Faith and business acumen are not the most important qualities of a great man. No, it takes a far-sighted man who combines the knowledge he has acquired over the years with his indomitable determination. This makes such a man a great man. And rest assured, my esteemed financial advisor, I plan to do great things, which will ultimately pay off for you, too, in ways you would not dare dream of. Jumping the wall was easy enough. Now to find my way all the way inside. There's quite a few cutscenes. We went on a little long, but well damn done. Also, let's save so we don't have to do that again. But yeah, that, this engine is capable of a striking amount of, well, everything. I'll be quite honest, I was expecting a different sort of resistance here. But, um, sure. Can I have that? Thank you. I acquired key. It's the only key to the entire castle. Don't think that's a good way to lock things. I'm just saying. There you go. Is there an arrow in there? Might be. Let's not step in front of the fire in case there's people, you know, walking around like that guy was. This definitely has a very... Oppressive and cold atmosphere. <coughs> I found the door key. Or, I'm sorry, door key, not the door key. All I had to do is wait a little bit. Nanner on, as I want to do. And two keys came right to me. And two sets less of eyes to watch us. There's somebody over there, but I don't think you can see me. Oh, it's a fire arrow. Aha! Key goes to this door. God, it's windy out there. There's no darkness in here. I do not like. Some sausages. An ancient wine glass? That's not loot. Can I... Aha! Gross. Is somebody saying something? 
might be upstairs. Hopefully I'm not missing a whole conversation. Oh, brother. I love it here. Oh, that's At loud. At first, I was a little irritated. Because I had assumed our patron would be much more oriented toward the old teachings. But now, I recognize that he is looking for the true form. That's why he uses methods that are unorthodox, but certainly effective. Indeed, I too feel extremely at home here. For the first time in many years, I feel a sense of camaraderie that has disappeared in my old monastery over the years of restoration. Not to mention the convivial evenings where we were singing and eating delicious meals to celebrate the wisdom of the Builder. Still, I have to admit that I'm plagued by certain fears. And I wonder if we may not receive some divine punishment for our actions at a later date. To be completely honest, I'm so scared that I wake up drenched in sweat at night. You shouldn't worry too much about that, brother. Because who knows which religion is the right one? A new study by the University of Bridgeport has shown that 8 out of 10 world religions oh failed God. in the first 4 years. Mm. And where does this failure come from? Failure of man, of course. Because many of these religions are mere inventions, devised by devious individuals to control the poor and simple-minded? Mm, no, I mean. it is simply the lack of seriousness. Because only those who believe particularly firmly and permanently have understood the true task of religion and can from then on spend their whole life carefree because thinking is quite simply detrimental to pure So being faith. more blind. Yeah, I, um... Those are some hoops for the logic to jump through there, but okay. <clears throat> mm. Well, I'll use it, I guess. Here. I mean, it, it is nappy time, so it probably should be so dark in it. Why is this? Okay. This is my bread, sir. No, 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 no. Can you... Can you, like, go to bed? Like a good little builder, please? Ah, discussions of religion. There's... No, it's just me taking your holy symbol. Discussions of religions are probably the best way mm. to lose friends and family and strangers. Basically, don't talk about religion. <laughs> the hell? It's an object. Well, whatever it was, I can't see anything now. It has been three years since I left my former sanctuary, turned my back on my longtime fellow believers, and renounced their principles. It was a hard decision, but I had to do it. For some time, I roamed the provinces of the realm and earned a living as a frugal migrant worker with the good farms who offered me food and accommodation. It was hard work, but rewarding nonetheless. In my spare time, I served as a preacher, always trying to convince the doubtful believers that the true path of the Builder will lead every puny sinner on the path of enlightenment. It was foolish to think that I could do this, because all those poor soul, poor lost souls had become so corrupt by the hypocritical messages of the bishops and priests that the only true message of the Builder can no longer reach them. And so, they called me heretic. They called me heathen and troublemaker, and the louder and more vehemently I defended the true way of the Builder, the more hostile the country folk treated me. They chased me with their pitchforks, they pelted me with cow dung, and they even emptied their chamber pots over my oh, head as I passed their houses. Now I'm at the end of my tether and addicted to drink. I have found no solace at the bottom of the glass, and now I no longer know what to do. All these years, I just wanted to be closer to the Builder. But the truth is, I only found this closeness in silence. This fact scares me more than any church dungeon. Praise be unto the Builder. I have finally learned of someone of a similar free spirit as I am, who preaches the true faith in his own way at his castle and has surrounded himself with many of my former brothers. When I knocked on the castle gates, my heart mm, pounding loudly. I have a feeling he doesn't quite understand where he is. Yeah. I was immediately welcomed inside and treated warmly. They gave me a bed and something to eat. I was promised that I would be here with my own kind. I'm delighted and can hardly wait to pay my respects to the lord of the castle. 
Yeah, so they're running a little bit of a cult here. What might that be? You're weird. Have fun. So, yeah, this isn't necessarily the builders. They're kind of an offshoot. Apparently. Ooh, ear protection. Are those supposed to be paintbrushes or something else? Hmm, I wonder if there is anything below me in this tower. Mm, I'm gonna stay ducked just in case there's somebody down there. Well, that was easy. I'll take that. It's just an ancient crown. It's not loot. I mean, my sticky fingers will take it anyway, but it's strange that I already know what, that it's for something. It happens sometimes. Well, let's have a look around, shall we? Got another one of those strange potions that I've never taken. The Poems of Calvador. In the Temple of Deception she lay in wait. One snake of temptation kept used as bait. On the seventh full moon the hellhounds appeared, and sought her life, and thought that she feared. But did they know who they were fighting with? And all nine were brought to justice. Little bit of a stretch there, but I, I'll, I'll accept it. I'll, I'll, mm, kind of a stretch, but I'll accept it. Okay. I have noticed the moral integrity of some of our fellow campaigners begin to wane. Just last week, I caught one of our guards stuffing his pocket with pickles, out oh, delicious ones, in the kitchen. Why did he do that? Everyone knows that pickles have a high water content, so it was all too obvious as to what he was carrying in his pockets. What upset me further was the fact that after I pointed out his misconduct, he simply denied any wrongdoing. He claimed he had no such pickle in his pocket. He would just sweat like that. Hogwash! I had to think long and hard about the punishment for this offense, but I have determined that for the next four weeks, the delinquent must split firewood with a butcher's knife. That will be a lesson for him. In regard to our head chef, I have at least had some post-interrogation success. Who knew he was capable of such a heinous act? In response to his crimes, we put him in one of the two prison cells under the interrogation room. We moved Robert elsewhere, so he is now completely isolated down there. I must keep the cell key on my person so that no one gets the idea to bring this villain anything to eat. Also, his time in solitude will give him ample opportunity to reflect on his misconduct. But we can't let him stew for too long. He's just an excellent cook, and Lord Devonport insists that those delinquent plum dumplings with garlic sauce and root vegetable be served on the next full moon. Lieutenant Godric? Yeah, I'm assuming that's Lieutenant. So, our man is not in the dungeon. He was, but he's not anymore. Would you? No, okay. I thought you went around the... Thou canst not escape the Lord's sight. Get in! Ah! Oh, thou shalt face the righteous king. Were you just going to run away from me? Ow! Uh, where did I save the- oh. Oh no. Actually, I didn't go too far, but st oh. Oh no. I don't even have my keys. Oh, oh, uh, I'll be right back. This interrogation so far has not huh. yielded the desired results. So I will ask you one more time. Do you confess your sins? No, sir. I don't even know what I've done to deserve this. We both know why you're here, so no more lies. I'm telling you the truth. I swear it on the builder. Ugh. 
Well, you aren't giving me any other choice. So, we'll have to resort to other means. Have you ever heard of the Screaming Wall of Truth? Not really. Is that a book or something? No, it is anything but, my dear boy. The Screaming They're Wall Ricks. of Truth is the ultimate truth-finding tool of the <laughs> modern age. It has already proven its effectiveness in obtaining satisfactory results, and thus far, no delinquent has been able to withstand its application. <laughs> oh, what's going to happen to me then? The tool is very simple to use. Child's play, really? First, I protect my ears with these earmuffs. Then, I take one of these specially made handrails and drive it over this metal wall. Ah. Ah. Mm. <laughs> ah. Stop! Mm. Ah. Mm. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, like. I really didn't like it. Stop. I can't take it anymore. <sighs> I'll tell you everything. Even what I don't know. Aha! <laughs> there we have it. So you confess. Yes. Yeah, yes. It was me. I did it. I poured the fish sauce out the chocolates. I knew it. I knew it since the beginning. Guards! Drag this scoundrel back down the hatch. And I gotta say, in the nobleman's interrogation methods are really state of the art. Mm, all it did to me is kind of make my ni You know what? I'm not gonna say what it did to my nipples. So, it, they put him in here. So I saw that. I'm glad we came back through when I saw the recorder of all things. Not really something I was looking for. I also saw a gas arrow literally downstairs in the kitchen. Wasn't expecting that either, but there you go. All right, let's go through everything here. We got this. Can I please have? I'm having troubles highlighting things for some reason since I reloaded. Things that I grabbed very easily before are being a pain in my butt. Yay! I've got. Uh, this is really. Bad poem. Oh, I didn't see that before. I'll take that and we'll read that. It did trigger something, that first thing we read in the mission. So I don't know if that will trigger something as well. You never know. Better safe than sorry. So we're back. And there's the asshole. Ah, he's behind the casing. So I can't see him, but he can see me. Okay. Are you gonna come over and say hello? Uh, oh, you're gonna go downstairs. I wanted to say hello. Fine, ooh. Something I wanna grab. Very echoey wood. Can I have that or not? Thank you. You hardly ate anything today, and your face has turned a deeply unhealthy color. It appears to me, my young friend, that something is preoccupying you. Why don't you tell me what torments you so? Well, uh, yeah. In fact, I don't feel all that great. I think the beef ragu is something that... Ah, uh, damn it. Well, that wasn't my intention, but apparently we're going to be doing this again. Haha, <laughs> I got it before he could see me. <laughs> Yourself. I mean, you're not going to be able to because they're on the ground. Thou cannot. Um. I. Ooh, it's, 
about that? Now this time will I be able to knock you out if you come over here? Ooh. Come to daddy. I'm right over here. Moments ago. No, I was never on. What are you talking about? <coughs> gotcha. All right. Now that this troublemaker's out of the way, uh, I don't know if he's going to come in here or not. How dark is it over by the window that has moonlight coming in? Eh, good enough. Guess I'll deal with the consequences later. But... Anyways, I think we're going to leave it here. We'll come back and we'll see what those two are talking about since I kind of interrupted them because I was too busy trying to do stuff like this. I could have waited. I could have, but I didn't. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boy Lag. Signing off. Break, break, break. Oh, you can- Oh god! Uh. Close the damn door, please! Oh god, it scared the crap out of me! Wasn't expecting that! Come in! I mean, don't come in! <laughs>